Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. How's everything going? I'm just gonna pull up your comments on my computer so that I can, so that I can see what you're saying. So when you pop on, go ahead and like, comment, and sprinkle. I'll give it a few minutes to let some people join. We have a couple of cool projects planned. pop on. Hi everybody. When you pop on, go ahead and say hello in the comments or put an emoji in the comment or something that represents how you feel. Hey Melissa. Hey mom and Kim and Bobby. Hi everybody. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for commenting Melissa. Then I know my uh, comments are working on my computer because sometimes my computer lags so much. Hey Kim. How's everybody doing tonight? I have a couple of projects planned. Two of them will take no time at all. Hey, Megan. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are rolling. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so a couple of things that I have. And I, tonight, most of tonight is not going to be holiday driven necessarily. I thought it would be a good idea. Thank you for sprinkling, Kim and Megan. I so appreciate it. Okay, Mary. Hi, Mary. <laughs> okay, so tonight's not necessarily going to be design, uh, uh, holiday driven. Um, I thought it would be fun to do something that was more like could be up year all year round. So I got a couple of things, and then um, if we have some time, then maybe we'll dive into some holiday stuff. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing okay. Everybody got their votes in today. I don't know. We did. We didn't have to stand in any lines, so that was good. So then I could come on on my normal time. Although, you guys, this time change, I'm telling you, it felt like forever for 7.30 to get here. I felt like I was, like, just sitting there twiddling my thumbs when I'm like, I probably could have came on at 7 o'clock. I don't know. It feels like 7.30 is taking forever to get here. It's been dark for so long. Hi, Shelby. Good to see you guys. Okay. The transfer I'm planning to use is... Um, this is a C size transfer, I believe. And basically, you guys, it's two in one. So we're gonna use this top one for one project, and then we'll use the bottom one where it says bless this house for another project, okay? So before I came on, I went ahead and I stained some boards. These are just pine boards. Um, I'm, I'll tell you the measurements of them, but really, it's just a scrap piece of wood. So one of them is thinner than the other, and this one's a little bit thicker because the measurements on this top transfer is just a little bit thick, like thicker than the bottom one, okay? And then if we have time, we will do um, the Santa approved on just a piece of, it's a nine by 12, but this was a shelf from a closet, you guys. So my brother, was fixing um, my nephew's closet and they pulled out this crappy old piece of wood that was a shelf and he just had it in his basement and cut me some pieces of 9 by 12 I believe they are and now we can use them for projects because it was just um, gonna be a scrap piece of wood and there's nothing wrong with it other than the fact that it's painted kind of an ugly color and it's a bit roughed up, but who cares? Because we like things roughed up at this place. We like things roughed up. So if you're new to the um, the video, this is Sarah's Painted Things. I am the creator. I am Sarah. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture, and we like to have fun. We like to craft. We like to make things. We get creative in here, and we love to share ideas. All right, so if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, sprinkle. Um, sprinkle for sure. If you don't want to sprinkle or share, that's okay. Tag somebody in the comments that you think might also enjoy this video or likes to be crafty or has great ideas or um, just likes to watch this kind of thing because what else are you going to do on a Tuesday night? Mm, especially when it's, you know, election day and there's really nothing on TV. Anyway, so let's see. 
What do we got? I just want to make sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a C size transfer. So let's open this baby up and we're going to cut it. Because, uh, like I said, whenever you can find a transfer that you can use, like, and you can cut it and you can use it for multiple things or you can use it, um, not necessarily for multiple things, but it has multiple ideas with it, that's score. That's money. You're doing great. Oh, and you guys, I have to take this, I have to show you. So, um, I found this really cool cart. I'm kind of growing out of my space, not to the point where, like, I need a new space, but I just need to be organized with my stuff. So I was storing all my stuff over here in this little shelf. Uh, well, I'm getting to the point where I have so many pastes and starting a collection of inks that I kind of grew out of it. So let me just show you real quick the little cart that I got on Amazon. Hold on. I might have to flip you guys. How do I flip? Okay, here we go. Okay, so here's my little, um, you know, my Christmas tree that I keep up all year round. It's become my little thank you card, my little thank you card station, which I love. So those are, that's all my ribbon. And then I have this little cart that I absolutely love and it's on wheels and I can store all my stuff. It has little dividers on the top where I can store everything. I'm just super excited. Look, I can even put my little iron in there that I don't use for clothes. <laughs> it's so nice and I was able to clean everything and so now I have my bench. This is my little area, right? And then my little cart and there's my little desk. And that's my little space, you guys. That's my space. We love it. Oh, and then of course I, I can't be creative without my little all year round tree that has lights on it. Got to have that up all the time. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I just had to show you that I, that's what I did last night. I didn't go live because I was getting organized with all my crap. <laughs> all right. So I have a special holder now for my scissors. So hopefully I never lose them, but don't count that out because I'll still put something somewhere and lose it and be like, mad at myself for doing that and I'm sure there'll be a moment where I'll be like I know I saw that somewhere where the heck did I put it <laughs> happens all the time okay I'm cutting my transfer because honestly it's the best way to go do you get your transfers and you get um the kind of transfers that you can use for different things or if it's too big and you're just kind of like it's easier to cut it, cut it. Just cut the transfer. It will be fine. And you will like the fact that you did because then you're working with something smaller and it'll be so much easier to work with. Okay. So I haven't waxed, I haven't waxed any of this. So let's do that real fast. I need to decide. I want this to be my front. Because remember when I talked to you, if you were on, not on the other day, because I used pine board, um, it stains, unless you, I don't know, whatever that, whatever it was that Tom said to put down, there's something that you can put on the board so that when it stain, when you stain it, it stains more evenly, but pine has a really funny way of staining sometimes, but I like that. I'm okay with all the uneven tones. I think it gives it more of a rustic look. And I'm totally okay with it. All right, so that's done. Let's see, which side? Mm -hmm. I'll go with this side. I like the grain of this side. So I'm just using the surface wax. It's pretty easy. A little goes a long way. And basically, I am sealing the wood from my chalk paste, right? So that if I make mistakes, then it, I have a little bit more time to fix those mistakes rather than having to completely redo the project all over again. 
Sanding sealer. Yes, Luann, that's what it is. It's called a sanding sealer, which is kind of a cool little thing. You put it on. I'm assuming you put it on after you've sanded your projects, and then you put it on before you stain. Okay, so my stain, I stained this tonight. Probably started about 6.30, 6 o'clock, 6.30, so the stain has come off on my little towel, but this towel is has now, and I knew this was going to happen, so this towel has now become a chalk couture towel, a project towel. That's what it's become. All right, so I'm going to dry these two, and let's chat. Let's chat. What's going on? We'll dry this with the... Um, with the heat tool. Shelby, gang's all there? Good, I'm glad the gang is all there, ready to go. Ready to go. Okay, so our plan, or my plan is to put the transfers on and then, because I'm not painting this, I'm gonna keep it the wood color. We're gonna use a white chalk paste. However, I did think about um, possibly well, and this might be for another project, but I just really wasn't feeling it. I really wanted to see what it looked like off the wood, but staining it and then giving it like a, a dry brush with white and then doing the words in black, that would be an option too. Or you could do the words in whatever color, whatever accent color is in your house. You guys know me. I'm very neutral. I like the whites. I like the blacks. I like the color Dune, which is like an almond color. The inside of the almond, not the outside of the almond. I'm very neutral, very earth tone. That's me. Because um, then I can add the pops of color in different ways. But um, I did order the color teal. I think it's teal. I don't know. It looks like it's really pretty. And we have, I have a fun project planned for later this week. If the things that come, that I ordered, come in the mail this week. And we're going to use the uh, boutique um, pedestal sur surface later this week. I'll show you. So, I don't know why that happened, but. So later this week, we're going to take this boutique um, surface we're gonna erase the cook pray eat and we're going to put make it we're gonna not make it Christmas but make it wintry and then um, we're gonna turn it into something really cool we're gonna add to it and I think it's gonna be fun and I think it's gonna work and I think you're gonna love it okay I hope you love it anyway all right I think these are good let's start with the bigger one first so this one says, may our home overflow with warm memories and laughter. All right, so we're going to go with this one. And we're just going to place it on our board like this. And I hope, I don't know if you guys can see very well or not, but. I have never used this transfer. Of course, um, I'm going to have to bust out one of my new fuzzing cloths because my other fuzzing cloth it is in the washing machine. And I just remembered that I put it in the washing machine yesterday and forgot about it. Yes, the teal. So I saw, yes, Luann, the teal looks really pretty. Looking forward to seeing what you use. Okay. The teal is so pretty, you guys. I saw another design. I actually got the idea from another designer, so I can't take all the credit for the creativity because it is really stinking cute. But um, the teal, you guys, is so good. I would, with the project that she put together, I honestly would have never considered using teal. Um, just because, I'm telling you, I'm a boring color person. I don't have many, I might add a red here and there, might add a green here and there, but I'm not... I'm kind of boring when it really comes down to it. And that's okay. Boring's okay. Sometimes. 
Yeah, I love pops of purple. That I do. I wish I had purple. That's on my goal. I am going to, we are going to get that sooner or later. We will get some purple. Okay, so let's, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it for now. Make sure that all of my, all of my letters are on the board. And then I'm going to measure and make sure that I am about a half inch. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Nailed it. First time. That hardly ever happens. Okay. I think we're good. So now I'm just working out any of the bubbles and creases. Making sure that the screen, all the trans, the green part of the transfer around the screen is tight to my surface, okay? And I, it, sometimes it's easier to use the squeegee to do that. Sometimes you can just use your hands. You know, just depends. Okay. So here's my board. I don't know if you guys see it. Is it fitting in the, there's my board. Um, and let's get it done. I'm way too tempted to get the blue and red ink so I can do some wild 3D pieces, but I need. Oh, I know, blue and red. That would be really cool. In the ink, you could do so much with those two colors. So much. Oh. I didn't clean my jars like I should have, but oh well. Okay. I'm going to stir up this white and see what it's... It's not looking too terrible. I'm not sure if I'll add... I don't think I'll add any water to it. I think it's pretty good. It's a little bit... Well... Nope, I'm going to leave it as it is. It is a little bit thicker on the thick side, but it's running. Like, I can see it drooping. So I am going to leave it. And then I'll just press a little bit harder. I'll just press a little bit harder in the smaller spots. That's what I'll do. Okay. Did anybody get on the website today and check out the two transfers that, are, that they opened the vault for? If you have not, um, and you've heard, like, what's the vault? What is that all about? Okay, so Chalk Couture opened up the vault, and they opened it with two transfers. One's an A-size transfer, and one is a C-size transfer. So go ahead and take a look. Okay, so how you get there is you... Um, go on the website, click shop, and then click on specials, and that's where you will see those two transfers. They are in the specials tab. Because I know a lot of people were asking today, um, where do you, where do we find these? I can't find them, and that's it's in the, it's under specials. And there's only two transfers. I was hoping there would be more, but not as of yet. Okay, I'm scraping off the extra paste, and I'm putting it back in my jar, and of course I already made a stinking mess. Got my hands all gross. All right. Pull this up and see what we got. Oh, nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Here we go. Let me show you up close. There it is. May our home overflow with warm memories and laughter.
turned out really good. Check out, here, let me turn this light out. Check out the crisp lines. I love, I really like this font, you guys. Not gonna lie, I kind of love this font. It is good looking. And this is just a pine board. All it is is pine. Okay, let's dry this up. Let's dry this up and then we'll go for the, we'll go for round two. Hi, Tammy. All right. So this stuff dries really fast. Um, it is semi-permanent. So if you were to use it on a reusable surface like glass or chalkboard or I don't know, some metal, um, anything that has a really slick surface, um, it, it is reusable. You would be able to wipe it clean with a little bit of water and a rag or uh, one of the board erasers from the website. But as long as you don't put anything over top of it to seal it, you would, you'll be able to change it out anytime. It could be a day, two days, a month, two months, a year, and you'll still be able to, um, with a little bit of water, a rag, or a sponge, you would be able to remove the chalk. Now, I will probably seal this, and what I mean by that is I'll probably spray it with an acrylic like um well hold on let me show you what I'll do so I'll spray it with this um rust-oleum clear coat well, I'm not gonna spray it tonight because I don't want to spray it in my house but I'll spray it outside and then that will seal it so this will never it could go outside and the weather it'd be weatherproof not that you're gonna want to put it outside but then it would become weatherproof Okay, so that project is done, and I'm really excited about that project because um, I already have somebody in mind that I think would love it. Okay, let me just get organized here. Where's my fuzzing cloth? All right, let's pull out this fuzzing cloth again, and this one is going to be Bless This House, all right? Now... This is a brand new transfer, I've never used it, so I am going to fuzz it, but I'm not gonna over fuzz it. I'm just gonna kinda like, make sure that the transfer um, is sticky still, but not like so sticky that I can't control it, but not sticky enough that it won't stay in place. Does that make sense? Hey Mary, thanks for, Hey Mary Ann, thanks for watching. Yes, Melissa, that font is so good. I really, really, really do enjoy it. All right, I think this one only really needs one more. Okay, fuzzing cloth aside, let's pull the board and I'm gonna center it the best that I can. What did I do with my little, here we go. All right, let's see, about a half an inch. Oh, we need to move it over just a little bit. Oh, I think I moved it too much, hold on. All right, we're good. All right, same process. I'm just pushing it down. I'm just gonna pull out another squeegee. I'm not gonna use this squeegee with, cause we're using uh, the white, bright white chalk paste. So I'm gonna use the same squeegee that we used before, but this, for this process, I'm just making sure that my transfer is down so that Everything is nice and sealed. Okay, same color. And let's go to work. So 
what makes, if you guys are new to chalk, what makes these transfers different than, say, a stencil is they actually have a silk screen in them, whereas a stencil is, um, there's nothing there. And the silk screen is kind of where the magic happens because it keeps your chalk paste where you want it so that you don't have that bleeding going on. All right, all I'm doing is scraping off my extra paste, making sure I have all my areas covered. And I think it looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna put my extra paste back in the jar. There's not a lot of waste, you guys. Um, everything, any extra goes right back in the jar. All right, let's see how, let's see how it looks. Ooh, very nice. I'm just gonna hang my transfer off the edge of my table here. So here is Bless This House. I love this font. So, so good. I'm gonna shut the light off so you can see it better. Let me get a close up. Check out those lines. Love, love, love those lines. And you guys, if I wanted to give this away as a gift, I didn't spend all stinking night doing it. I mean, literally, it took me five minutes to put this together. Well, if you don't include the staining process, but how cute is that? Wrap some twine, wrap some twine around the edges maybe around this side, add a little rustic to it. Wedding gifts, Christmas gifts, neighbor gifts because you just love your neighbors because they're good people. Um, what else? Birthday gifts. And there's not a lot of money. I don't, listen, the money I spent was on the transfer because this was a scrap piece of wood. I know you guys have scrap pieces of wood laying around somewhere. All you do, get it out, cut it if you need to, don't cut it if you don't need to, and then you can cut, and then this is what happens. Magic, beautiful. You turn some wood into something that somebody can love. All right, let me dry this. Oh, I like this one too. Thanks, Luann. Thanks, Melissa. And it's not a really big sign. Let me measure it when I'm done drying. But this would be cool on a shelf somewhere. Um, on a mantle. I'm just trying to think. Uh, you could put it on the wall if you wanted to. But um, I'm pretty sure it has. it's a half inch thick. So it'll stand up by itself. So it doesn't need to have... Um, it doesn't have to be hung. It can just stand by itself and lean up against something or just stand by itself. Okay, so here is the Bless This House standing alone. Um, okay, let me measure this for you guys. So it is... Okay, 19 inches across, and I think it's five inches down. Yeah, just under five inches. So it's 19 inches and just under five inches up and down. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's a half an inch. Well, maybe, no, it's probably an inch. Never mind. Well, three quarters of an inch but it'll stand by itself. So, I mean, you have options with this guy. All right, and then this one, let me measure this one, is, I'm thinking it's 19 also. Yep, this one is 19 across and six and a quarter from top to bottom. So 19 across, six and a quarter from top to bottom. So cut yourself some pieces or go find, go 
find some scrap wood and there you have it you guys you got a beautiful easy little decoration for your home or to give as a gift man you can save yourself some money on those wedding gifts i'm telling you that stuff can get kind of expensive and it looks like you paid a lot of money and you didn't okay so let me let me clean up my space here a little bit what time is it okay eight o'clock I think we have time for, we might have time. Do you want to see another project or do you guys want to quit? You let me know. What do you want to do? Do you want to see something? You want to see the Santa one or do you want to call it a night? I'll let you guys call the shots. And I'm just cleaning my squeegee off with uh, some antibacterial wipes. <laughs> And I know that these are on shortage. I know. But I don't have access to a sink right now. Okay, Carrie says, see the Santa one. Okay, that one's going to be a tad more of a process because remember, we got to paint the board. But it won't take very long. That one won't take very long at all. All right, let me clean off my little stir stick. Okay, Becky says she wants to see the Santa, too. You got it, sister. Let me just clean up my space, and we will go to work. Now, I'm not going to use the chalk, the white chalk on this, because our background is going to be white. So that one will be like a black and red. Oh, that white. I need to clean. Guys, I need to clean off my canisters. Holy moly. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Don't need that. Alright, here's my transfer. I'm going to move these transfers down. I just have them hanging on the edge of my countertop counter thing here, which is actually kind of perfect. It's working out nice. All right, let me grab my little painting cardboard so I can protect my counter. Here's our little board. Remember, I told you this came from a closet. It was a shelf in a closet, and we cut it. All right, I need white brush. Oh, I almost forgot. So I ordered some of these little sample packets, and I know some of you have had some questions because you um, have wanted to possibly order the palettes, the palettes with all the little samples in there with all the different colors. So we're gonna, we'll use one of these tonight, and I'll show you what I do to make them work, okay? Um, so we'll get to that, but let's paint our surface first. And this is, this is just white, um, Waverly chalk paint from Walmart. That's all this is. Nothing special, you guys. I've used this stuff, and I've used um, the Rust-Oleum chalked paint. Mainly, I... Uh, sorry, I got something in my eye. Mainly, I've used the Rust-Oleum chalked paint for furniture. Um, it takes a little bit longer to dry I think I don't know it's just a different texture this Waverly is a little bit thicker and it covers really well so you don't always have to do two coats and with chalk paint in general um, there's no sanding you shouldn't have to sand which is why I love chalk paint you don't have I don't like doing all that sanding not unless it's after I've painted, <laughs> then I can do the sanding. But if it's before I've painted, no thank you. That job can be for somebody else. Okay. I might have to run a quick second coat on here. 
Um, I can tell the paint that they used for the shelf is probably like a, not an eggshell. What's satin? No, satin and then eggshell maybe. Definitely not a flat paint. You can tell the difference between when you try to paint over top of some of paint that's flat, it goes on a little bit easier. When you try to paint over like an eggshell or something that's a little more glossy, then your paint seems to streak and it seems like it needs a coat over top of it. Hi Shelly Cruz! Good to see you, my friend. All right, we're just we're just uh, making us a Santa board, Santa approved board. Let's see where are we at. Eh, it's not completely dry, but it's good enough. It will be good enough that I can put a second coat on there without um, without smearing it, just smearing it around. All right. So this is my painting process, you guys. It's not always the funnest thing to watch, I'm sure. It's not the, it's not hard. Um, you guys, I'm honestly about all, I'm all about easy and fast. I don't like to have a project that's going to take me a week to complete. If I'm going to do a project like this, I want it to be easy and fast. And when I say fast, I want it to be done in under an hour. I got stuff to do, darn it. Life is busy, man. Life is busy. Oh, Shelly, you had online class? Bomber. That's all right. You're off. You're out of class now. Good deal. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna sand this and rough it up a bit, which I think is gonna be cool because it's gonna have like a tannish brown come through the white. That's gonna be neat. That'll really be cool, I think. All right, where are we at here? Let me dry it some more. Yeah, Shelly, they're fun kids. It makes a difference. It does. Like, I remember when we were doing everything remote, like when teachers were all remote with students, um, you know, it's kind of fun. I mean, it was stressful, don't get me wrong, and it was difficult to kind of reach kids remotely, but the ones you were able to reach, I was able to build a relationship with those kids that I would have never been able to build with them in the classroom, like when they're when all the kids are together. And I know that that sounds weird to some people, like, well, what? How is it that you can build a relationship better with somebody remotely? When we're when we were remote, um, they, somehow you're able to see them, you're able to connect with them more one on one. And Megan, yep, Megan just said I never had very many participants. I never had very many participants either. So the ones that did participate shocked me, first of all, but um, I was able to connect with them and, and a lot of times they just wanted to talk. And it's and it's those it's those kids that you wouldn't typically connect with face to face because 
they're busy. They're doing all the assignments. They're doing everything you've asked them to do. They're helping their neighbor. They're, you know, they're your little helpers. They're the people, they're the responsible ones in the classroom. They're good at what they're doing, whatever. And so you kind of just, as a teacher, I guess you take for granted a little bit that they, um, they're pretty self-sufficient and very independent. And sometimes your attention, no lie, gets taken and moved in another direction. Whereas when you, we were online, um, we didn't, I didn't, we didn't have that. We didn't have those distractions, let's put it that way. We could focus in on those one, two, three, four, five, five kiddos. Yeah, online classes now, I don't know how they're going. I mean, I've got some kids. This is nice and dry. I'm gonna flip it over, we'll do the other side. I have some kids that um, do my online pretty religiously. Some, but then I have some that will pop in every now and then and do stuff. Um, granted, I'm a PE teacher, so the assignments that I post are way different than like a math reading teacher. Um, so the kids can be a little bit more, I, um, I don't know how to even explain it. The, the assignments are just different. The way I post them, what I decide to post. Um, you know, how they decide to do their assignments at home. Sometimes I have them, uh, if they can, have somebody video them or just take pictures of certain things. Like one of the assignments was a scavenger hunt and they had to find certain items, you know, in like under 30 seconds. And then they had to take pictures of those items and send them to me kind of to prove that they did it. Some of them had a lot of fun doing it. Um, but don't get me wrong, there is no replacement for personal face-to-face -face learning, for sure. Oh, really, Megan, only four kids online now? So that's good. I mean, a lot of kids are coming face-to-face. -face. That's awesome. Yeah, there's I and there's some kids where face to face that's it's that's where they thrive. I mean, all kids should have access to that face to face learning, but um, I've noticed with the whole COVID thing, and you know you want to keep your distance, but gosh darn it, if a kid wants me to give him a hug, I'm gonna give him a hug, or I'm gonna let him hug him or her hug me because kids kids are still kids, you know. Yep, the majority did come back to Cardinal. I think there's a lot that came back to um, Briggs, too, but I I don't really know the numbers on that. Shelby, you can join my online PE class anytime, girl. Anytime. We did a scavenger hunt. We play. Um, we played a couple games called This or That or Would You Rather. So like, okay, so you can look these up on YouTube, you guys, because if I knew how to create those digitally, I would create them my, myself. But I'm not that technologically smart. I can't create that stuff on my own. So it's really cool because, like, for example, one of the ones was an emoji, This or That. So it would say, like, um, it would show them a picture of this, meaning like, let's say an emoji, the kiss emoji, or, and then it would show them another emoji, like, I don't know, like, um, the, a dragon emoji or a dinosaur emoji. So then they would have to pick that emoji and they go to one side of the gym or the other side of the gym. And then whatever side they picked, then they'd have to do the exercise that would come on next. They had fun. We had fun. One of, the, one of them was, um, this was a different this or that, but it was, uh, or would you rather, would you rather read or would you rather um, watch TV? You know what? There were a lot of kids that moved over to the watch TV side, but there were a, few, a lot of kids that moved over to the would you rather read. And I was like, yay, that is so awesome. Then there was the ones that, now these, these questions are really like key to me, like, would you rather 
go to school or would you rather stay home? And the ones, the kiddos that chose would you rather go to school, some of them were little stinkers. And it's like, huh, so you do like me. You do like it here, even though you say that you don't. I'm hip to your game. I don't know, those are just fun things for me as a teacher to kind of sit back and watch what kids would choose. And of course, you know, some kids would just follow their friends. But some kids would really answer, on, a lot of kids actually, would answer the questions honestly. And it was fun. It was kind of cool. Kind of a secret way of me getting to know them without, their really, without them really knowing that I'm getting to know them. I thought it was neat. All right, we're almost done with this board. I told you this was going to take a little bit. But we'll survive. So I just need to dry the edges, dry the edges, and then we'll sand it up, and I think we'll be okay. Oops. It is so nice outside today, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm sitting here and I'm almost starting to sweat like I need to open the window or something. This heat gun, this heat tool is pushing out a lot of heat. That's pretty good. So let me put the lid back on this. Move that over. Yep, that's pretty good. I'm just going to set that off to the side. I'm going to put this down because I no longer need it. Let me just clean up my mess a little bit. I got that chalk paint all over my desk. That's the one. I, that's the one thing about like regular brushes. Well, that chip brush uh, just sprays chalk paint everywhere. I'll probably after the live, I'll get into it and clean it off a little bit better. Okay. All right, now, you know I got to sand it, so let me pull out my, all right, I need to change out my sanding, hold on, oh, here we go, okay, I need to change out my sandpaper because it's kind of roughed up. There we go. This is, what grit am I using? 60 coarse grit, 60, right? And it's general all purpose, um, 3M. I like the rough stuff because if you don't get it rough enough, then it, to me it, it doesn't really do anything and you gotta work hard. You gotta work a little bit harder to get anything off to get any of the paint off. So yeah, this is 60. I don't really know how, off the top of my head, I don't exactly know how, this is pretty rough. I don't know how rough it would go, but. Okay, I start, I always start with the edges. hard but I'm not like it looks like I'm 
probably looks like I'm taking off a lot, but I'm really not. use this side but let me turn off this light oops okay so this is I didn't really take off a whole bunch but oh there you can kind of see it a little bit more and you can see where the wood is and you can see where that like tan paint is like the wood the paint and then the white chalk paint okay and then I got it down here on those colors and then let's see can you see much on the edges probably not a lot so it looked like I was taking off a lot I really didn't take off that much all this dust is going in my garbage can not on the floor I don't know if you can see that but off the dust. I'm gonna have to make I'm gonna have to get some Mr. Clean uh, magic erasers on this countertop so I can get rid of this paint or oops. I do have some oops remover. Did it look like it was snowing? Shelby, did it look like it was snowing on your screen when I was sanding? Okay, I want to use this side as the front, I think. Yep, all right, let's put a little wax on here and go to work. Oh, you guys, the dust. I can see the dust particles flying around. Ew. Gross. I'm so sorry that you have to see all that madness. All right, 
my lunch picnic. Shelby, I'm confused. What did I say? What were we talking about? black um, sample packet and these cups I don't even know where I got them you guys I don't know I probably either Walmart or fairway I don't know they're just mini mini cups um, this is what they are I honestly think I probably bought them when I used to take lunches to school and you can see I don't I have so many left because I don't ever take lunches to school. Because <laughs> I try to prepare and then I always end up walking out the house without it. So, whatever. I'm going to need my water. Where's the bread? I think we'll use this bread today. I don't know if we'll use the green. We might. Okay, so what you want to do when you first get your packet, if you decide to get these little sample size, is um, kind of mash them up, kind of mash that chalk in there. Yeah, for jello shots. Yeah. That would be a really good purpose for them. Absolutely. So I'm just kind of like kneading this and pushing it around before I open it. Now there's quite a bit of chalk in here. Um, depending on your project, you could do a couple of projects. Um, before actually throwing it away. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to squeeze out all the chalk. Well, that didn't open how I wanted it. Okay, I'm going to squeeze out all the chalk into my little container. I'm just going to empty this whole thing. Because what I think is going to, I think I'm probably going to have to add water anyway. And I have a lid. See, this is how it's coming out. It's it's dry. It's dry. It's going to need some water. So let me get this out. Now these little samplers are really good for like, um, I know they had like a fall sampler and a Christmas. I think they had a winter one, Christmas winter one. I'm not sure if that's all sold out or what. Oh, I still got more in here. Let's see, I'm making sure I get it all. And then I will show you how much I got out of this little packet. And actually, if you really wanted to get in there, you could open this sucker up and take your um, take your little stir sticks. There we go. Okay, this is how much I have left. So let me get a stir stick out. And why waste it? Put it in the jar, or put it in the can, the container. You know what's funny? I'm doing this, and I feel like I would, like, you know, if you, how many people out there wear makeup? <laughs> this is what I feel like. I feel like when I'm getting way down in my makeup bottle, and I don't have, I don't have another one, I feel like I'm like, trying to scrounge up as much as I possibly can. Okay, this is how much chalk came out of that container. Okay. So that's probably enough for 
for this project, it's probably it's definitely enough for this project. But I'm gonna put some water in there and bring it back to life because I would not use this without mixing it with water. It was too dry. I might have added a little too much water. Nah, I think they'll be okay. Yeah, Shelly, waste nothing. Get in there. Use it all. Sigh, stop licking. Sorry, you guys. That golden doodle likes to lick. And then before you know it, we got hot spots. He needs a bath, and he needs to be... He needs to go to the groomer. But dude, you can't get him into the groomer. Like, groomers are like hot commodities. You gotta book, like, wait, you gotta book a whole year in advance. Okay, so here it is. It's not like cake batter consistency, but I'll tell you what, I'm not putting any more water in this because it's pretty. It's good enough. It's good. Any more water, and I think it would be way too thin. So I'm gonna let that sit for a hot second while I while I put this transfer on. And then sometimes if you get too much water in your in your um, too much water in your chalk paste, and you stir it up. It's not a bad idea to just let it sit for a little bit and let the air kind of get into it so that it doesn't, because if you get it too watered down, it'll bleed and you won't be happy with it. And you'll be like, whoa, what happened? Why did that, why did it do that? And a lot of times it's because there's just too much water and you just need to let it sit for a second. Okay, I'm not going to fuzz this because I've, use this transfer before and it doesn't need to be fuzzed. It's pretty, um, it's pretty good. All right, so now I'm just going to squeegee out all of my bumps and creases, air bubbles, whatever. Cause remember this transfer has a lot of detail, lots of detail. So you really want to make sure that you get all of those little tiny pieces of the transfer down on your surface. Okay, I think what I wanna do, you guys, is I wanna make, all right, I'll show you. I want the Santa to be uh, black, the whole thing, kinda like a shadow Santa. And I, and I wanna do, the approved in red, because to me, like a stamp of approved just is red. I don't know why, but it's red to me. And then possibly do Santa in red. Now, what I don't know about is the greenery and the berries. Do you just do it black? Do you actually do it green and red with berries? What are you thinking? And while you're thinking about that, is this going to stand on its own? Hold on. It should. Okay, this is going to stand on its own. While you're thinking about that and we're waiting for comments to roll in, I'm going to get my other Santa approved that I did with a black background to kind of show you what I'm thinking. Okay, so what I did with the black background is everything was white. The approved down here is red, but everything else, like berries included, that was all white. And I don't know, I guess I'm thinking, do we do all, do we do it all in black? Do we do it all in black? And then just do the approved in, in red? Kind of like um, vintage. Green leaves and red berries. Shelly says green leaves and red berries. Shelby says shadow Santa. Shelby, I don't know if I can shadow it. I really, I don't know if I can do it. 
That's a hard, that's a hard trick, sister. That's a hard trick. That's a toughie. I can shadow small things, but sh this is kind of big. I'm scared. I don't know if I, I don't think I can do it and make it still look good. I wouldn't be afraid to try it, Shelby, if I was, um, you know what, Shelly, Cruz, I haven't even thought about the color of my ribbon. Whoops. I haven't even thought about the color of my ribbon. You know, I got this. I don't even know. I haven't even thought about the color of my ribbon. I don't know. Where's my mini squeegee? Oh my god, things are falling on me. I don't know. Oh! Sorry, Shelby. I don't know. I don't know the color of my ribbon. Let's just see what it looks like with green and red berries. I'm using, I'm not using candy apple red. This is, this is scarlet. I think that this color is really pretty. All right, so while we're waiting, I'm gonna do the stuff I know that I, that I want in red, which is the approved. Approved in red. And then I'm just putting the extra paste right back in my jar. And you guys, I am going to lift this up, but then I'm just going to set it back down. Oh no! Oh yeah, okay, it's supposed to look like that. Most of it. Probably should have let that sit out for a little bit. Okay, nobody has any ideas? Well, let's do the Santa in black. Mm. Let me use my mini squeegee. Just so that I can make sure that I don't accidentally get into the wrong areas. Okay. All right, here we go. Santa is going to be an outline. like printed newspaper. Oh, this, this black chalk is going a long ways. When I chalk, you guys, some, I like to go from top to bottom, and then if I have to, I'll go across, but I don't know. I feel like going from top to bottom is um, a pretty good technique. All right, now I'm just gonna scrape off any extra paste. And then I'll tell you what, guys, 
Um, it looks like I didn't even use this. I mean, there's a lot of black paste still left in here. I don't know if you can see. Let me just pull it up by the scoopful. Like, there's like a bunch left. I could do I could do another project with this paste. So you get a pretty good amount in those little sample packets. You really do. All right, what I'm gonna do though, okay, here's my hot mess, okay? Should I do the Santa in black? Could probably do the berries in red. Just see what happens. Berries and red. I'm just putting this on with um, a stir stick. I could actually use this little handy dandy tool, which would probably be better anyways. And then I'm just scraping off my extra paste. Okay, Santa in black, the word Santa. You got it. All right, scrape off the extra. And we want a little color in that greenery. Let's use pesto. This is pesto. Okay, let me put the lid on this black. And I can totally save this black for another time. Another project. I'm going to use the same detail tool. I'm going to use the same detail tool that I used. Well, actually, I'm going to use this one, I think. All right. Just going to mix it a little bit, enough so that it's not watery. Try to get in there where, I don't really want to get into the red, but try to get in there where, there we go. back in the jar, cover my jar. Okay, you guys, let's check this out. Let's see what happens. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Check that out. Not too bad. Not too bad. There he is. There's our Santa. Check out that detail. 
so good. Look at that beard. Look at that face. Holy cow. He just like comes to life. Just comes to life. Wow. So good. Thank you. Yeah, so good, you guys. And the green looks nice. I like the green. I don't know if I, I mean, you could put a bow with it, but you could leave it as it is, too, and it would be just fine. Let's dry this real fast. Let's dry it. There's some spots on the word approved that I want to fix. this tool but this tip just seemed like it was a little thicker than I thought it was supposed to be I at, by accident I figured out oh this comes off and then this is the actual tip ah. and it makes cleaning up edges so easy so easy I better turn this I can always go in with a dab of paint too if I needed to, but that was the first time I've actually used that um, scarlet, and I think where I had to put it in the wood, there was some notches in the wood, and I think that's what caused some of this, but oh well, I can always clean it up. Yes, Luann, you're going to love that tool. I love that tool. It is so good. So, like, you know how sometimes you're like, oh, you know, do, use a toothpick. It's literally the size, it's literally the size of a toothpick. So you can get, you can get down in there if you need to. So good. So, let's see. Hmm. How do we do the eyes? I don't know. I'm going to show you what his eyes look like. You can sort of see where the color of his eyes would be. But you can kind of sort of not. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it. But look at his cheeks. Who doesn't love a little Santa Claus coming across your screen? So good. So, so good. I just had to show you a little, another close up. Another close up of Santa. I think I'm going to leave his eyes the way they are. Simply because. I don't really trust myself to not mess it up, and I really don't want to mess this one up. On a practice board, I would love to do it on a practice board. This is not a practice board, so I might have to do that sometime. Okay, so I don't know 
how to decorate this with ribbon. Shelly Cruz, how do I decorate this with ribbon? Or do I just leave it as it is? I might just... I mean, I guess you could, oh, I bet I could put some greenery with it. That might be what I do. Maybe a small piece of greenery, like, in the corner. Like, real greenery. I might do that. All right, what time is it? Oh, my God, you guys, it's almost 9 o'clock. Why didn't you tell me? Here's what, okay, so here's a recap. This was our third project, our Santa approved. And then, before that... We did Bless This House and May Our Home Overflow. Now listen, both of these are the same transfer, but two different projects. And I think it's well worth it. Two different projects, same transfer. So cool. All right, you guys. And I can still feel that the stain is a tad bit fresh on here, but... Oh well. Okay, and that's all I have to for tonight. So, thank you so much for joining. Hang it, oh, hang it with ribbon. Now that could be a good idea, Shelly. That would be a good idea. And I have my staple gun, I could just tack, 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 staple it, hang it up. Well, whatever I decide to do, I'll definitely put it in the pictures if, um, I'll definitely add it to the pictures if I have some time. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really, really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to, uh, if you haven't already, like, comment, and sprinkle, aka share the video, or just tag somebody in the video that would love to watch the replay. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night, and I probably will see you Thursday. Thursday might be the next time I come on, I think. Yeah, yeah, because we want to do the um, this project. We want to do this project. We're going to wipe this clean, and if my stuff comes in the mail, well, it might not come. But if it does come in the mail, we'll do a project with this uh, boutique board and base. Okay? All right, you guys. Have a great evening. Thank you so, so much for watching.